What's funny is I have a monitoring system hooked up. I'll bring this out for you guys here. So what this one's actually doing is it's telling me, this is the number one sell best selling system. It's telling me I'm at 13.4 volts. I am at 74, hopefully that can adjust. 74% charged and it'll tell me how many amp hours are remaining. I have 74 amp hours and you can see that little tiny number right there is going up. So this is gonna be a controller that's gonna go in my boat and it's gonna help me monitor all those systems. Uh, but if you look at this, this monitoring system that I have actually has a built-in app here. It'll tell me the state of charge, the battery time left to charge, what the current current is, the curve on the charging here and the voltage curve. Uh, while you have it open, obviously. You can change all your settings, you can put in reminders, you can even run different relays on it. So very powerful battery monitoring system we're gonna hit here in just a sec, but we have to have some sort of way of knowing what our battery level is. This down here is a power monitoring uh, shunt. The power distribution shunt and down in here uh, allows you to figure out where current energy is flowing in or out of your battery. And the neat thing about that, the way that it works is on the back side of this, there's a bunch of very specialized metal. And these pieces of metal have a very well-known resistance and there's a little nick out of them, which is kind of funny. And that is, you know, to create and calibrate the resistance. Once they know the resistance of that metal, when they measure from both sides of this tiny resistor, this very, very low resistance resistor, they can start to figure out the voltage drop before and after the resistance. And that voltage drop with all the, the fancy math turns into current. So now this little tiny device, this little shunt, when it's paired up with this little box right here, this little box right here is doing all of the fancy calculations and work. It's also data logging. It's able to turn things on and off. So maybe at a certain voltage level or maybe there's an external monitor for heat. I wanna turn my battery heater on or something else. That little box can do it and you can do it through the app I've shown you here. So whether you're doing solar, whether you have a boat, whether you have an RV and you just wanna know the state of charge of your batteries, this works with both flooded, lithium, lead acid, everything. This meter is gonna give you your actual current draw and it's gonna tell you everything you need to know about your batteries and how they're working. It is gonna keep and memorize data, which is really slick, so I love that. Right now, uh, my power is 66 watts of power is going into it. And that's what at 4.90 amps, that's what is coming in from my NOCO charger that I have. So my NOCO is putting it in. Now, if I unplug the NOCO charger, you'll notice that that amp draw goes to zero immediately. Now, if I turn on my inverter up here, the amp draws go in the other way. Now I'm draining my battery and it's gonna tell me not only amp hours, it'll tell me the total hours that I have of battery left. And this is gonna be wonderful when I'm out on my boat, we're running the Starlink, we're having a wonderful time. I can kind of see, do I need to put the other solar panel on? Do I need to uh, start the engine, maybe recharge the house batteries, do things like that. Some of the other ones have a very limited range because they only can show you um, the, they are a one piece unit. And so they only show you what the shunt is based on the distance that the wires are. This, because it has a separate board on here, a brain that's doing all the calculations and that wire is only four inches. This one is gonna have very accurate measurement. So you can put the display that I have here inside your RV, inside your coach and your batteries can be out in the cold and this battery brain unit over here can be uh, out there as well. So again, gives you all the stuff that the app does. You can also go into the settings menu here. So what I wanted to show you is it has a full menuing system here where you can set everything. 